Welcome back, my computer duders, to a very special episode of I'm Gonna Get My Ass Fucked. Specifically, how that's gonna happen is I'm gonna start taking on these challenge maps. And I do not have high hopes for what will ensue. Why did I build them on this way? I can go around either direction, so there isn't there isn't a right or wrong answer to this. Do what feels right, unless what feels right is putting live, angry hornets into your own urethra. In which case, why does that feel right to you? What the fuck is wrong with you, dude? Don't do that. Bees don't go in there. I shouldn't have to explain that to you. We've been over this. It's like the Kandiru. Why why would a loving god make a fish that swims up your pee hole lodges itself inside of your your junk? I'm not saying necessarily there's no god, but clearly it's evil. That's why I urge you all to worship Kromdar, the gore thirsty, dark lord of the crimson gemstone, and aid his battle against Kalgathu the Grainfather. That's theology that makes sense for our modern times. I mean, you want real answers to your life and the pressing problems of today? Of course you do. Kalgathu does not have them. Kramdar does. No! Wow, the projectiles changed direction in flight. That's some advanced technology if you think about what it would take to achieve that. Need some helicopters. First, I need to fix all this shit that they blew up. I'm off to a bad start. I said as a baby immediately after tumbling out of the vagina. I mean, what's this life shit about when it starts with you coming out of a big hairy pussy? Nothing that comes after that can be good. I mean, do you want to climb out of a, a giant pussy? Maybe you do. Maybe you do. I don't know you. I have to build the tank factories in order to have gun turrets. Of any kind, apparently. No, not again! No! Well, time to rebuild my entire oil field again. Boy, I fucking love this game. I love to play this game so much. I love to play it every day. I love to play it. It makes me gay. Like, in the happy sense. Fucking shit. I'm not gonna win this time. I know that's what I said last time. But for reals, because... If they've destroyed my oil fields twice, it's gonna be such a setback... That the time I need to come back from that is, is not... I'm just gonna run out of time is the issue. Why are they so stupid? Oh, this is an early challenge map. This is an early, they're still brain damaged in this one. Maybe I do stand a chance.
Why are my vehicles doing nothing? No, not again! God damn it! Why even have oil refineries? They force you to build them and then they make them so fragile. <coughs> I'll distribute them around the map. That way they won't be so easy to blow the fuck up. That wasn't what I meant to do. I don't even care anymore. I don't care about symmetry. That's how you know shit's fucked. I can just go straight over there and fuck his ass, can't I? How are you gonna stop me? You blow up my fucking oil fields? Why don't you go fucking explode? That's what Jesus would do. Jesus exploded like six times in the Bible. It was in the director's cut. Like, you thought the regular Bible was long. It was really that easy the whole time, and I was just intimidated by the fact that it had a skull on it and it was red. I'm a dumbass. Did I get anything good from it? Oh, I got more... I have to unlock all the shit. That's making sense of this, somehow. I don't know what this is about. This is the same fucking map. What the fuck is happening here? What is this baboozery? I demand explanations. I'm like the compliments guy. Give me compliments, but I want explanations. Give me explanations. Well, I wish I had more than one of these helicopters. I could really speed things up. you think that there would be room in the military budget for that. But no, the people vote for educational you know, spending increases for some fucking reason. How are we going to fucking learn our kids some science learnings if they're exploded by the enemy? Riddle me that, atheists. You can't. You can't. Isn't that true? There's this tweet. Yes, I read Twitter. Shut the fuck up. Where Ken Ham was like, if only all the money wasted on... Uh, studying the false teaching of evolution were instead spent on good, useful projects. It's so sad. And I'm like, and, and you know, aren't you the dude? Well, it wasn't me. It was a, there was a reply in the fucking meme. About how he built a theme park boat that doesn't even work as a ship. Like, it doesn't float. It's just there to look cool. I guess, depending on what you think looks cool, um, I don't know. Note to self, don't take credit for memes if they're e easily searchable. But yeah, what the fuck? We're gonna see Flat Earthers saying the same kind of shit too, like, oh, if only NASA's budget wasn't wasted on teaching the false round Earth. It really makes me want to kill people. And I didn't like the edgy 17 year old way. The, the way where like, I get like drunk and sad at four in the morning and I start researching how to get away with murder. Why did I not just use a missile? Why didn't I not just do that the entire time when they have no air defense? Do I have to do that like super fast or something? What's hard about it? Wow, that's really rewarding. Why have I not done this before now? Not a day goes by when I don't impress myself with unexpected levels of stupidity. I'm going to do a three skull one. Punish my tender asshole. Why don't you? It's the same fucking map. What the fuck is going on here? I don't understand. Is this the work of ancient aliens? 
Ancient sexy aliens. It better not be. All of this was foretold by prophecy. I mean, by prophecy, I mean some shit I wrote on a napkin five minutes ago, but you gotta start somewhere. It counts. Like, who, who decides what a legit prophecy is? If it comes true, isn't that enough? Isn't that, like, better than most? It doesn't have to be super mystical. If it comes true, you're already, like, leagues ahead of the rest. And the best way to write a prophecy that comes true is to force it to come true by your own hand. That's just basic prophecy science. Oh god, if I search that on YouTube, probably I'm, I'm going to find a, a channel that's like not joking. That is sincere about there being prophecy science. They have no air defense. Why don't I just build... They do have anti-aircraft turrets. I take it back. Uh-oh. 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 Bad news bears. What have I done? The answer is fuck all to defend myself from the air, even as I criticize them for the exact same thing. Well, that was fun, but it's all over now. They don't really let me build them anywhere else, though, until later, for some reason. I don't really understand how that works or what the deal is. Oh, wow, okay. This is getting tougher. This must be why it's triple skull. That's a lot of skulls, man. That's, that's three fucking skulls. Normally, you don't even see, like, one. Why don't they automatically defend the base? That would be really handy. It would, they would be doing me a solid if they did that. Good thing I have so much time. They've already fucked my base halfway, though. Why are you not doing anything? What are you doing hanging out here? Just playing Pokemon? What the fuck? I don't run the military so you can sit at home and play Pokemon. At least not until, until stage 4 of my master plan, which is indeed staying home and playing Pokemon. But until then... That's really effective. I really should have done that sooner. Why are you attacking... Did I not indicate that accurately enough? Apparently not.
More helicopters. More helicopters. Ha ha ha. I'm like Howard Hughes. More helicopters. I'm Howard Hughes. Blah. Aircraft are more important than personal relationships. Or even pretending to be sane for longer than five minutes at a time. I'm Howard Hughes. Blah. That's how he talked. Find any recording of him and you'll be like, okay, all right, I thought you were bullshitting, but no. He sounds like an angry Muppet. I'm lying, he doesn't. Did you see through that ruse? If so, pat yourself on the back. It was pretty fucking comprehensive and convincing. No you don't. No you fucking don't. I can't build any more of those for no obvious reason. It doesn't tell you. It doesn't say why you can't build any more of this or that. You just can't. It's very opaque. And they're attacking the aircraft, the aircraft thing. When that's not at all what I wanted them to do. I want them all to attack the, the fucking base. No, that's not what I wanted. This relationship is failing for the reason most do, which is bad communication. There we go. What's the purpose of these challenge levels? They're not very challenging. That's so fucking erotic, watching that missile slowly rise up out of there. They knew what they were doing. Oh, alright, I didn't even need the missile. Okay. Okay. I accept it. I embrace the easy win. I'm all about low-hanging fruit. Low-hanging fruit is the ripest. It tastes the best. Just big and plump, dangling off the branch. Seductively. I mean, I'm not saying I won't have sex with fruit or anything, but, I mean, I'm thinking about it now. Let's see. Uh, one more. I mean, who hasn't thought about having sex with fruit? Look at a fucking cantaloupe and tell me you haven't thought about drilling a hole in that and going to town. It goes back to, for example, ancient Egypt, probably. I mean, probably if you Google it, you'll find some hieroglyphics of dudes fucking cantaloupes, which legitimizes it. If people did it in ancient times, as we all know, according to the internet argument logic, that means it's not perverted. If you can find any example in history of people doing something, automatically it's not perverted anymore. Isn't that amazing? Internet arguments bother me too much. Why do I let stupid shit like that get to me? Often it's about trivial shit I have no investment in either. Like yarn or something. Just when somebody is wrong and they're obstinate about it. I just want to be like... Murderous, I guess. Which is probably a slight overreaction. Somewhat. Can I? Yes, I can attack. Good. Get some fucking helicopters. Helicopters! Helicopters. With spinning blades made out of penises. 
The forbidden technology. You always knew from the legends that it would someday come to pass. You just never thought it would be so sexy. That's okay, neither did I. That's what prophecies are like. If you could expect it, then it wouldn't be remarkable. Everybody else would have predicted it already. Expect this! That's like the generic all-purpose catchphrase of 90s action heroes is something or other this. Where this is like a bullet or a missile. Terminate this. Sodomize this. Well, okay, wait. Less on the nose than that. Although sodomy is not on the nose, that would be a misunderstanding of what all it entails. Shit like this is why I don't even bother trying to monetize. It would just be immediately demonetized every time. And they would not be wrong to. I, w I couldn't even blame them. One more. Always one more. Why is that li like that? Why is that... Didn't I already do this? Why is it always the same map? How quickly can I do it? Is it about, is it about speed? Am I missing the point here? Because that's what I thought about sex, but it turned out to, to not be how you're supposed to do it. You can't speed run sex. Well, you you can, but then she posts derogatory remarks about you on her, on her Facebook without naming you, but all of her friends know who it is. And they're not impressed. Like, even after you explain to them what speedrunning is and show them all this Mario 64 speedrun videos, women are just inscrutable, man. There's no understanding them. I mean, all 120 stars in less than an hour. How are you not impressed? Fuck off. It's like you don't even have a soul. How is the soul supposed to work, though? Like, where in the body would it live? It's never made sense to me. And how... If we can't see it or detect it, how... How did anybody come to know that such a thing exists? Like ghosts. Or anything invisible. Like, how would, how would people find out about it? I've had these thoughts before. I don't really mean for this channel to be about that. Although I'm sure all of you find it riveting. What the fuck is the point? Why? That's like something I would have done a couple matches ago. Am I supposed to be doing something specific? You know, it's a comfy feel. I'm going to sound like a fatty. I, you know, I guess I don't give a shit. 90s McDonald's commercials. When they were trying to be all like jazzy and grown up. So they had just fucking jazz. They're like, okay, what's grown up? Jazz. Jazz means adult and mature. So let's have fucking jazz in the background of our commercials and show city skylines, which has something to do with hamburgers, apparently. And they had the, the, the dude with the moon head, which has taken on different meanings now, thanks to internet culture. But at the time, it was just really comfy. That's the kind of, of comfort that, like, vaporwave, I think, is intended to evoke. Just, like, general 90s ambience. Good stuff. Good stuff. Not good food. Good sound and visual design, however. 
which I can't eat. I've tried. I've tried to eat many things which it turns out were never intended to be eaten. Um, I think that's all for this time. Uh, I know I didn't get much done. I don't really understand the point of the challenge maps. I feel as if there should be more maps than this, but then again, I paid five bucks for this thing. I'm going to investigate. I'm going to investigate it online and find out if there's any more to this game. If not, this will probably be the last episode. I've done like everything there is to do here. I feel as if I... It, it's cathartic. I've, I've come out a better man. Which is not saying much. I mean, the bar was pretty fucking low already. I, I spent the first half of this episode talking about having sex with cantaloupes. So it doesn't take a lot to improve me. Um, stay tuned. Click like and subscribe. And if you just want to mail me money directly, uh, I won't stop you. I'll, I'll include a PayPal link somewhere. <laughs>